Good day everybody, Stephanie from Diesel Tech. Um, behind me I have some more portable um, power or energy units that I would like to do a quick review on. Um, of which one of our main brands um, and products, the Flexo Power um, team has decided to come up with a brand new um, few products that they are launching onto the market um, and which are really competitive um, in a sense of serviceability and what they offer and reliability of course um, as well. So I'm very excited about this uh, new models that's coming onto the market. Currently I have with me here the Flexo Power 700 which caters in a market of the Rentec 750. So what I have here just as a general uh, visual size comparison for you um, is the EcoFlow Delta Max. Um, I think it's a 2400 and the Rentec 750 and the new, newly launched um, Flexo Power 700 uh, model. So like I said, the Flexo Power guys have decided to bring a whole bunch of new products to the market. They'll be launching the Flexo 700, which is this one over here, and they'll be launching the Flexo 1200 as well as the Flexo 3000 uh, portable, all of them portable UPS um, type units. And like with the predecessor of the 555, they still maintain the same aspect of having the batteries um, serviceable or replacement units um, which I'll show to you shortly what the triple fives look like um, and I must admit um, some of the other brands out there claim to to be able to service the batteries or replace uh, the batteries when when in fact they are due uh, but that yet remains to be seen. So let me briefly show you just so that you can get an idea of the size between the lot, um, the Rentec 750, the Flexo 700 as well as the EcoFlow Delta Max um, portable power items because some of you out there are EcoFlow fans, some of you out there are pretty much just open for discussion fans, so meaning that there's a lot of products on the market, so they'll pretty much be open to whatever looks um, most suitable for their pocket in economical sense, but it is not given that it's necessarily always the best product in the long run for uh, the amount of money you're gonna dish out for one of these items, cause let's be honest, these things are not the cheapest on the market. All right, so here's the, the, the Flexo Power 555, the predecessor of the 700. Here's the replaceable uh, battery for the 555, lithium battery. Um, so this is what it looks like. All right, so the, the Rentec 750 that I've got here, as well as the new um, Flexo 700, are both upgraded versions of the uh, previous models. Um, and I'll show you a little bit closer now what the main differences are. The Rentec 750 has pretty much gone from I think it was three normal USB um, charging slots to two of them they reduced them to two but they included two type C um, USB charging slots on the new machine but sadly that was the only upgrade or facelift they did it still comes with the European plugs um, which is a bit of a slip because you need a, a, an adapter for them um, and I don't know about you but in my experience adapters or two-point type plugs are usually at some stage um, they have a contact issue Okay, so like I said, um, here are the two that we're going to compare um, just for the sake of having a fair argument here. Um, Rentec 750, Flexo Power 700. There are the three point sockets that I was talking about. The new Rentec 750 still comes with the European type, which needs the adapter. Um, they both have the two normal USB um, out output uh, power slots as well as the type C's um, just obviously situated in different locations and they both come with a lighter or a normal DC output power socket as well um, and they both have a light the Rentec 750 light is just on the other end and this is the light for the Flexo 700. Uh, the Rentec 750 um, you need to hold down a power button it'll switch on and then your screen comes to light and it tells you the battery state of charge that it has but it's a, a rough estimate is not a per one percent um, and your AC output sits down here that you need to press and press again to switch it off so on is on off is off um, as we the the Flexus 700 um, tells you the actual state of charge this one says 99 percent so obviously it's uh, each percentage it'll show you exactly what it is with the Rentec 750 don't do that it just shows you increments of 20% so it's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 um, but you will not know exactly where you lie um, 
to the T on the Rentec 750. The other thing that I've noticed as well, unfortunately, the Rentec 750 doesn't show you the, the amount of wattage that you draw from the system, whereas the Flex, so even on a triple five, they showed you exactly you're drawing 150 watt, you're drawing 300 watt, you're drawing 405 watts or whatever the case may be. Another factor to me that's a little bit disappointing um, if you take the size of the Rentec 750 into consideration is that unfortunately this machine can only handle a maximum of 125 watt solar input. So for the camping community that's it's not bad but they could have done a little bit better there. Um, so they, they sell their own uh, design blanket or solar panel for this unit which is 120 watt as where the triple five, the predecessor of the 700 um, could take up to the 150 watt flex, flex zone number, 150 watt solar blanket or panel which is a little bit better. That's what we actually use in our camping setup um, on the dual battery system but the new, the new kit on the block, the Flexo 700 comes with a whopping 400 watt um, solar input. Um, something else that the Flexo uh, Power 700 unit has got built in which the triple five didn't have in um, is a, a really truly awesome um, LED type light um, that the triple five didn't have. The Rentec 750 has got a, a built-in torchlight as well but that is more like kind of a little circle type of spot small spotlight kind of light um, whereas the the 700 makes more of a ambient type of light and guys just something in my experience um, and if you don't take if you don't want to take my word for it you can go and, and and ask around or read up on it if you want to but when it comes to charging and discharging of uh, whether it's lithium batteries or lead acid batteries or most batteries out there um, your battery is always the most sensitive component in your whole setup so whether you've got a, a big 5, 10 or 20 kilowatt system at home running on 48, 50 volt um, nominal voltage on the batteries or whether you have these 12 volt type of batteries either in your in your vehicle as a dual battery system or in the sportable items you must always try and treat the battery as delicate as possible because it's most of the time it's about 50 to 60 percent of the cost of that product it's the most expensive component on any setup I mean it's also the most sensitive or delicate so treat it delicately and your battery should last you a very long time whereas you if you're going to go abuse it it can handle it it can take it very well it's not a problem but you are going to reduce the lifespan of that battery um, easily to 50 percent if not less of its lifespan so arguments that give us if i say life uh, span i'm talking about instead of having four years life out of the battery you might end up having two years or even less so these things are expensive once again so try and look after it and in return it'll look after you so let's just get rid of the seven, the Rentec 750 quickly and compare the 700, the Flexo 700 to its predecessor, the Flexo Triple Five. All right, so there is the predecessor, the Flexo Triple Five. You can see, obviously, the features are very similar. I love the color still. Um, I'm very fond of the charcoal, the dark gray color they have. Both of them has got the aluminium casings, which makes them nice and robust. This one has got a 500 max continuous output on an inverter for the 220 whereas this one obviously like you've heard now has got a 700 to 900 watt rating um, both still having the three point um, sockets what I do like about this one on the 700 is that they turn them sideways meaning that your cable once you plug it in will go out horizontally instead of downwards to the floor directly um, they've upgraded the USB outputs as well, two type C's versus one only and three normal USBs. The DC outputs are still the same and they still both have the DC output lighter type socket over here. Where this one has got a direct 220 input and this one runs on a adapter input from 220 converting it to DC. Okay, so there you can see exactly um, the, the state of charge of the battery. You can see how many watts you're drawing on the output and this is a very simple concept of DC on and off. Your DC on and off over there or your display can switch it off over here or on if you want it on and AC also just a matter of pressing the button for on and off. It's not like the triple five where you had to hold down the buttons for a few seconds to switch it on and then also um, switch off the automatic switch off function of the triple five in order to protect the battery if there's not any load connected to it but whereas as with this one um, it's completely straightforward it's just a matter of plugging in plugging out 
switching on, switching off, and that's it. There's no funny business whatsoever to the 700. All right, guys, so that's it from me for the, the new product range on the market, the Flexo Power 700. Uh, like I said, I'm very excited about this because I was actually wondering what's going to happen to the market because it seems like South Africa has been flooded with load shedding solutions. Um, to be honest, there's no such thing as a all-in-one cheap solution for this problem we're having in SA. Uh, not only SA, I mean there's load shedding um, in other countries as well, but we're just having a little bit extra here in South Africa. So I'm very happy to, to see that Flexa actually went back to the drawing board um, and they came up with this concept. And um, I love, uh, to be honest, from all my suppliers I'm working with, I love their backup support and technical support that they have. And I do love the fact that you can service and replace their batteries because that's in the long run it's better for you on a pocket and it's better for the environment as well so this product will all also obviously be loaded onto our online store or website which um, the address i will post in the description below all right folks so if there's any questions that you might have please leave a comment below um, thank you for watching again i hope you find the, the video and the information a little bit useful um, like i said there's a lot of uh, products on the market so before you spend your hard-earned money Make sure that you do your homework and that you buy a product that is reliable and that has local backup support. That's very important to me. Um, if there's no local backup support um, from a technical perspective, <coughs> then I don't even consider looking um, in their direction. Because if it was me that bought these items, that, that is definitely one of the boxes that had to be ticked. Um, otherwise, I'm not sure whether I would spend that kind of money on buying a product um, that doesn't really have either space or backup support all right folks so that's it from me thank you for watching stay safe keep well and i'll see you in the next episode cheers